Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The ancient development has been Achilles heels of Indian aviation sector and the demand is huge. Back in August 2021, HAL and G Aviation has signed a deal worth $716 million for 99 F404 engines that will power the indigenous LCA Tejas. In future, Indian Air Force will be inducting 6 to 7 squadrons of Tejas Mark II, 7 squadrons of MCA. Indian Navy will also induct its futuristic Ted BF aircraft. All these three fighters will be powered by G F414 INS6 turbofan engines capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. Now, as we know that United States has been trying to increase its defense cooperation with India. Earlier, it was reported by Hindustan Times that the carrier-based fighter jet deal for Indian Navy is expected to be linked with larger strategic arrangement with the country involved as New Delhi is looking for aircraft engine manufacturing under Aap Nirbhar Bharat initiative with the participation of the private sector companies. While French Safran is keen to manufacture 100 kN engines with Indian entities without any precondition, Defense Ministry is also exploring the same with United States as the GF404 engine is used in indigenous Tejas fighter and 414 being considered for the twin engine advanced multi role aircraft AMCA project of the DRDO. Now, if we look at the latest report from the business world, the US has revived an offer to cooperate with India on development of jet engine technology, which could be used to power India's futuristic AMCA program. The GE of US is one of the world's leading manufacturer of jet engine, has submitted a proposal for the co-development of 110 kN class thrust engine with Indian agencies. The French engine maker Safran and UK engine maker Rolls-Royce have already committed on more collaboration on defense technology including engine development to support Make in India move and these programs are backed up even by the government. The options for a tie-up are open among the three contenders from US, UK and France with India. DIDO will be the lead agency and it's also expected that a private Indian entity will also be involved in the program. Now if we go back in history in 2019, the US Under Secretary of Defense Acquisition and Sustainment has informed that India-US Joint Working Group on Jet Engine Cooperation within the framework of the Defense Technology and Trade Initiative DTTI has been suspended. The reason cited was that the two countries could not come to an understanding of what exportable technologies would be useful to India which led to challenges in terms of US export controls. If we want to understand it in simple terms, US did not want to share technologies for the critical components for its engine. Now as we know that the first two squadron of AMCA will be its Mark 1 version which will be powered by G414 engine and later version that is Mark 2 is planned to be powered with much powerful engine of 110 kN class which will develop as joint venture between DRDO and the selected foreign OEM. The Mark 1 is ex expected to enter production in 2030 and the Mark 2 version somewhere in 2035. India has almost a decade ahead for the development of an indigenous engine. Now, in 2017, the US Navy has awarded General Electric a 114.8 million contract aimed to install new powerful GF414 EPE engines on its existing fleet of F-18 Super Hornet and E-18G Growler fighter jets. The Enhanced Performance Engine or EPE variant includes a new core and a redesigned fan and compressor. The new engine version offers up to 20% thrust boost which increases its thrust to 120 kN giving it almost 11 is to 1 thrust to weight ratio while the dimension of the engine remains the same. This will further allow to 
upgrade Mark 1 squadron of Amka and Tejas Mk2 with a more powerful engine. G Aviation will now be exploring options with India on co-development of this engine under Make in India initiative. The terms and conditions of the transfer of technology is not yet clear between two countries and we all know that US has always remained hesitant regarding transfer of its defense tech to India. However, in recent time, US has been more open for defense collaboration and recognizes India as a major strategic partner. US reliability has always been a matter of concern due to different policies being pursued by countries two parties, Democrat and Republican. At the same time, French have always extended support to India in various defense cooperation. It would be really interesting to see the outcome of ongoing collaboration with US, UK and France for the futuristic engine development of India. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.